Welcome to your weekly US news update. We have four stories for you this week. Uh, FTI consulting audits DJI drones, a DJI leak. We have a sky browse that adds a volume tool. And then lastly, a new software for drone search and rescue. Let's get to it. First up this week, a cybersecurity assessment of DJI by FTI Consulting was published last week. The aircraft used for this audit was the Mavic 3 Enterprise Thermal and the DJI RC Pro using the DJI Pilot 2 app. Uh, the audit found that no data had left the United States with FTI stating, and I quote, the collections and analysis of the statement, which was completed on the East Coast of the United States, supports the conclusion that all third-party data transmissions and transmissions to DJI own infrastructure Structure resided within the United States. Additionally, FTI found that the local data mode eliminated any outbound transmission of data from the drone. Now, it's important to note that the full report is not available, and so we can't say for certain what was tested, what was not tested, and then how it actually was tested. Now, we'll keep you updated if we hear more from this topic. Next up, we have more leaks about upcoming drones. Uh, we'll start with the Air 3S, which is rumored to be released next week on the 15th during a DJI uh, event called Chase the View. Leak specs include a one inch main sensor that's capable of 50 megapixel resolution and 4K at 120 frames per second. Uh, the telephoto camera looks like it remains at one over 1.3 sensor, three inch sensor uh, with up to nine X in zoom, which is a big improvement. Other notable advancements include forward facing LiDAR, omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, and what looks like a next-gen return to home. Uh, the Air 3S may also come with the uh, DJI RC Track, a small beacon that uh, would act as a remote for users who are commonly using uh, Active Track. The RC Track includes the ability to RTH, switch angles, enable tracking, and land using either the controller or voice control. I guess we'll have to wait for next week to see how much of this is actually true. Next story, Skybras is releasing a new volume tool that allows you to take a pixel accurate volume measurement from any videos. Uh, if your video doesn't have GPS log, you can select a known measurement or scale uh, for the entire model. Uh, this is great for measuring stockpiles with just using a cell phone or a drone. The 3D models that you see here are made from a DJI Air 2S. Skybra said, now there's no need to set GCPs or log around laser scanners. Just record a video with your cell phone and get measurements from it directly. The volume tool is available on all the light and premium subscription. The light starts at $39 per month. And last up, a search and rescue program that's called Sardo uh, uses AI to search for victims. Sardo automates the search process, including path planning, calculating pixel size, and analyzing the captured images. Uh, all of this occurs offline, meaning that it could function uh, on a smart controller potentially. All of this happens offline, which means that uh, it could potentially uh, work on a smart controller, which would uh, revolutionize the drone search. Uh, we'll keep you updated if we hear more on Sardo. And that's it for this week. We'll see you later in the community for a happy hour tonight. And of course, on Monday for live Q&A.